Time for some EDP drama, but not all of the drama. There was a bit of a meme on Twitter. Not sure if it was the real EDP or not. Looks like a troll, looks like a fake. I won't be including it in this video because I personally believe that it's fake. But by God, I wish it was real. I mean, look at this. This is hilarious. And I wouldn't be surprised. But I would be surprised if he paid $8 a month for a blue check mark. She said she was 12! Ah, uh, yes. The human whack-a-mole known as Eat Debt 445 is back. Bring you out here he won't die. Whoa, well, I was, uh, whoa, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. He's dying, though. Guys, have you heard the news? He's dying. <laughs> He's got kidney failure or something like that. And he's not dead yet, and I'm not celebrating his death. I would never celebrate anyone's death. I would. But, uh... Anyways, we're a bit muddy here. We're a bit muddy. Let's back up a little bit. Let's make this clear. EDP, aka Epstein's deepest pocket, or eat that 445, has returned. He's once again in the news. He's back on TikTok. He's everywhere. You can't get rid of him. He's like a cockroach or a whack-a-mole. You ever seen whack-a-mole? No! You ever seen somebody play a game of whack-a-mole? No! Imagine that that mole is EDP's bald head. A future candidate for Chris Hansen's TV show, To Catch a Predator, I'm 30. You probably don't want me around you. EDP is back. He's been deleted more times than anyone else that I've ever seen in my life. Even Andrew Tate couldn't even do that. He's in jail now. That's more than EDP. And why isn't EDP in jail? Because of Marvel movies. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's like, that's not true. But like the whole vigilante justice thing doesn't work that well in a court of law in real life. So you should title your video almost with a 13 year old. I think that'll get a lot of hits, EDP. EDP is like a phoenix rising from his own lipid riddled ashes. And he's also dying, which is hilarious. It's quite a hilarious turn of events. And of course, to be clear, I don't mean it's funny that he's dying. I mean, it's funny that all this stuff has happened and now he's also dying. <laughs> So to say, but it's true. It's hilarious, dude. And this is a simulation we live in. He's probably lying anyways. We'll see. For the last few months, like a lot of people, I've been trying to get little glimpses of his presence on social media before he is inevitably shut down again and again and again and again and again and again like he has been. The dude doesn't go away. He loves talking about football. He loves talking about cupcakes. And now he's on Twitter. All right, and back on TikTok and I think YouTube as well. He's been gone for a while and now he's back up. He's got a TikTok and a Twitter, like I mentioned, and by God, it's awesome content. The dude doesn't stop. My favorite part of all this though is his tweets. Like I said, his tweets are incredible. His first tweet was on November 27th, 2022, just a, just a month or so ago. All right, guys, it was a video of him eating a cupcake with the caption, I'm back trolls because it's not people who want him to be deleted off the internet for being a <laughs> It's trolls. I'm back, you pesky trolls. <laughs> it warms my heart to see that he finally got his tasty treat though, the tasty treat that ruined his career. And time to pack it up. Video over, that's it. That's all there is. There's no more update. Wait a second. The NPC has become self-aware. The cupcake is what he needed. But self-awareness doesn't really absolve you of any sins you've committed, it turns out. All right, guys, being aware of you doing something wrong doesn't make you not do wrong anymore. It just makes you more complicit with the thing that you're doing wrong, which sometimes is funnier, to be honest. Self-awareness is important, but in this case, it's just hilarious, sir. It's more a hilarious, sir. Mr. EDP is not doing that well, especially not after this tweet by Santa Decides. <laughs> EDP is on the naughtier list. How is he still allowed on TikTok? True. He just seems mad to me about Santa trying to shut down his TikTok, which makes sense. I mean, if I was, you know, a fugitive, essentially an internet fugitive trying to run from getting banned and consequences, I would be mad too. But what really happened after Santa tweeted that is uh, the OG EDP blew up on TikTok. He's got almost 900,000, almost a million followers now. I like this video. Don't follow him though, don't follow him. Just report his stuff for, for him being a f how about that? Let's do that instead. This video is funny though, I've got to admit. This is a pretty, this is pretty good quality content. This is what he's up to lately. Paying the bills. I'm done. F*** this team, bro. These motherfuckers lost. <laughs> it's like, this motherfucker team 
You feel me? The Eagles got voted as the number one most annoying fan base in the NFL. That's kind of surprising. It always seems like I'm never mm. happy. I'm always, you know, complaining, nagging, you know what I mean? It makes sense he likes the Eagles, too. I don't like to talk about sports. I love the NFL, all right? I like the Cowboys. What can I say? I like the Colts. I like the Broncos. I like the Patriots. I like the Chiefs. I like a different, a bunch of different teams. I f***ing hate the Eagles. I f***ing hate the Eagles. The Eagles f***ing suck. And the 49ers. F*** all y'all. Aside from the video where he smashes the bottle on his head, it's really not that interesting on his TikTok and the whole Philadelphia Eagle thing that I just mentioned. It's, it's, that's all he talks about. He loves the Eagles. I feel like most of the people watching this content, though, don't know anything about football and aren't watching it for his sports takes. Like he's some weird version of ESPN 8. It's more so people like me who just want to watch the world burn joker moment and who want to see what else he's doing and how is he even operating on this platform still after everything that exists about him and all the news and everything it's it's more just little little niblets of drama there's always a whirlpool of controversy churning under this whale on a side note, he doesn't seem as angry as usual, which is good. And maybe he's, in fact, spent his time offline in a productive way, like improving himself. But in all honesty, it doesn't seem like that's so because he's he got caught for grooming again. So everything I said is wrong. And he just he's he's just as bad as he was. And he's a he's an idiot. And he doubles down on the shitty stuff that he says. He also posted a video of him just bitching about his stuff getting deleted. It appears that everything that I say ends up getting removed and oh, it goes against our community guidelines and I'm just trying to sit back and understand what the f*** can I even say on this mother <laughs> I mean, you can say a lot, a lot. You've chosen to either A, say shit about the Eagles or B, just say stuff that's against community guidelines and say things like, she wasn't young, I'm just old. Don't say that. If this man was on the Titanic, I'm convinced he would just jump off before they even hit the iceberg. Like, this is just, it's so dumb. He's so stupid. Or as soon as they hit the iceberg, he'd just try to go to the submerged side and help it sink faster to kill everyone else. If karma is real, I don't understand how the scale works. How does it work? How am I sitting here doing all right in life, relatively speaking, and he's still there? I've never really done much wrong. Neither have you, but he's still out there, alive, well-fed, living his life, being a terrible, horrible human being. And I'm just sitting here and you're just sitting here and we're making, or you're watching a video of me. I'm gonna need more proof of this whole God thing, I tell you what. But that kind of leads me to my next point. It seems like there are consequences karmically because uh, he's not doing well at all. EDP is dying, okay? That's the whole title of this video. He's dying, his health is in decline, which makes sense. Doesn't seem like a guy that's taking care of himself all that effectively, to be honest. And with his circumstances, it wouldn't be far-fetched to assume that maybe he's turned to the bottle, you know, drinking the old <laughs> booze or whatever people call it. I don't know, I don't drink. He's fallen on hard times. Kind of feel bad for him. Just kidding. <laughs> I hope he turned to the bottle. And it would make sense because his kidneys are bad, it turns out. Um, in a video that he uploaded on the 9th of December to TikTok, a minute into it, he just drops some random kidney failure update news, which is dope. And by the way, since I have kidney failure, they had to stick a temporary catheter in my <laughs> neck. Just the way he brings it up, eating a sandwich, talking about the Eagles with his little dumb hat on, which then right after that, he shouts out Jersey Mike's. Mm. Shout out to Jersey Mike's. Love the nonchalant nature of the whole thing, man. I also don't think the, the treatment of the kidney failure is going that well, and maybe it explains his insane posts recently, because all the toxins just going to his nog, going up to his old, his old bean. I mean, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Dak Prescott! <laughs> you guys think he's gonna die? I don't know. If we had like a death board, can you do a death, potential death tier list? Is that allowed to do? I have a really dark sense of humor and I don't care about anything. Uh, it seems like, it feels like that sometimes. And I just pretend on the internet. <laughs> do you guys think he's gonna die? soon. That's basically why I'm kind of prefacing that. After all this, EDP made a response video to kidney failure. 
My response to stage five kidney failure. How many stages are there? That's a lot. I mean, I guess he has to get the, his renal failure to the treatment where they run the shit. I don't know how it works. It's a pain in the ass though. And it is sad for a lot of people, but this is just not that sad. It's kind of funny to me. I don't know why. Then he says, do me a favor, be quiet. And he's got some serious lip pout there. Looks like he's begging for a snack. Then at about 14 seconds, he breaks his pout to tell us he doesn't like fake motherfuckers. I don't handle fake motherfuckers too well. Who are these fake motherfuckers he's talking about? Me? Critical? Mudahar? I don't know. He offers no clarification, standard EDP style, as that would require an ounce of work, which is well beyond the scope of his abilities. I don't want people crying, feeling sorry for me. Good, feel like that would be a hard bet anyways. Don't think anyone is doing that, but that's fair that you're, you admit it, it's cool. Then his demeanor shifts at about 35 seconds, as if he's gone through every single stage of grief. He wonders where the people that are feeling sorry for him now were, a year and a half ago when the initial cupcake news broke. And if you guys are so f worried, how come you guys weren't worried about my ass? What was it? A year and a half, two years ago. That was a year and a half ago? What? It was that long ago? He got, he, that news is that old? What the heck? You better smash like, cause I just learned about that. That's crazy. Oh my God, EDP, are the rumors true? Then he confirms, yes, the rumors are true. Yeah, I got stage five kidney failure. Then he repeats his request for quietness. But do me a favor. And then he comes out with a curveball and says the people he respects are not the fake motherfuckers. The people he respects are the people who are still talking shit online, like me. I actually respect the people more who are on the internet talking shit, making jokes. Well, thank you, EDP. I appreciate that. And then he channels his fans again. Oh my god! Oh, not EDP! Oh my god! I want to see if there was anyone at all who reacted like that to the stage five news stuff. It's just mostly people trolling him, it seems like in his comments. There's like three people who are nice to him. Three or four, maybe. Kid, <laughs> me failure. <laughs> it's a pretty funny meme. I like that one a lot. How is EDP taking it though, guys? I wonder how, how his mental health has suffered. Like, how is he taking this though? Honestly, really well. I feel like way better than most people would take it. Justin Bieber went to church. Andrew Tate converted to Islam. I haven't, I, I'm just sitting here. I have just ate some Chick-fil-A. They opened a Chick-fil-A and I've been eating that every day except for Sunday. Can you imagine EDP at Chick-fil-A? I mean, uh, church. <laughs> I can imagine at Chick-fil-A. The devastating news and reaction to it has not encouraged him in any way to do anything better. He's just doubled down. That's his reaction. He's just doubled down. He's EDP, man. He's a lunatic. The best part about all this though is the way that the internet has responded. It's genuinely hilarious people are taking this to another level in terms of memes it's amazing and they're just mean people are just mean dude so 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 mean and he's responding in tiktoks he makes fun of people thinking that he had cancer some ignorant group of bitches, right is going around saying that i got mother liver cancer well edp maybe you do have cancer you should go get checked or not i don't know you get stage five kidney failure but not any sort of cancer cells in your body i find that hard to believe so is edp dying or is edp all better now i think he's dying i'm pretty sure i don't know exactly um my buddy mcnasty tweeted a pretty epic tweet not 2023 starting with edp 444 live streaming on tiktok talking about eating his own shit i love mcnasty i saw that same live stream too he just blows up and people just, I don't understand why he can just keep getting away with it. You're bringing this on yourself. This is all your own fault. Every negative thing that's happened to you from the point in which you got caught by those goofballs till now, all your fault, literally all of it, every moment of it, completely your fault. It's, it's really crazy. He's going the Kanye route though. It's, very, it's entertaining. I've got to say this whole thing is very, 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 very entertaining, sad entertaining kind of makes me feel dirty that he he lives and breathes the air that i breathe and that we breathe because i feel like a lot of us try so hard to be good people and get banned for dumb shit or get in trouble for dumb stuff that doesn't even really matter in the grand scheme meanwhile he's out here still doing it still has people who respect and like him for and there's no reason at all it's insane that he's still around he's literally like a cockroach but he does have stage five kidney failure so there's that rip pack watch one foot in the grave also it could just be a total and absolute lie so we'll see about that